What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and today it is Royal Rumble 2020 edition. So on Sunday, guys, you guys, uh, so on Sunday, guys, the Royal Rumble is coming up. My favorite pay-per-view of the entire WWE calendar, you know, the whole just freaking facade around the Royal Rumble. Everything about the Royal Rumble is epic. You got the 30 entrants, you got the surprises, you got the freaking shitty people that come out there and wrestle like Trash Corbin. But the Royal Rumble is just an exciting time because pretty much, you know, from here, we're on the road to WrestleMania, which is obviously the biggest show of the year. We got all the stuff coming out, bro. We got a lot of stuff going on. I'm freaking hyped for it. I cannot wait, but uh, we got the Royal Rumble first. We got to get there. We got to crown a Royal Rumble winner, and we got two Royal Rumbles. We got the men's. We got the women's, 30 superstars, all of them competing for that chance to go on for the WWE or the Blue Universal Championship right here. I don't know who the hell it could be. I feel like this year is really unpredictable. I'm pretty excited about it. We are going to do my predictions here in the next couple days, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and go through this setup, shut the hell up, and get into it, guys. So what we're going to do is start off in the corner over here, and we're going to work our way all the way around the setup till we complete it, but I'm freaking hyped for Royal Rumble. Let me know down in the comment section below who the hell's going to win the Royal Rumble this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. So starting off in the corner, ladies and gentlemen, we do have the OC. We got AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, Lou Gallows, all given a two sweet right here, and you will notice that we got Finjamin Balor right here. Finn Balor in NXT, obviously. He has a match at the World's Collide show in the UK, I do believe, on Saturday night, and then uh, I saw on Twitter or something, he was talking to Kurt Hawkins, and he said, see you Sunday and in the CU Sunday, he put the second E in C was a three, meaning he could be the third entrant in the Royal Rumble. I don't know why he would spoil that, but maybe that was just a little teaser, like a little Easter egg, fart in a bag right there on Twitter. I'm not sure, but I would be freaking hyped if he did that. I would be excited. You guys know I love Finn Balor, so if he were to show up in the Royal Rumble, that would be excellent. I could see him, you know, going on there. That'd be a great storyline for him. You know, he was the, the Iron Man of the 2018 Royal Rumble, I think, so why not show up again, do another Iron Man segment freaking stay in that thing and i'd be glad if he won the thing so who the hell knows brad but right, right here we got the oc saying you know what join us bro we're, we're gonna win this rumble and he you know he's he's hesitant he doesn't quite want to give him the two sweet right there so we got finn balor coming back to the main roster for the royal rumble at least in the setup coming to the right guys we do have the fiend and this is actually a tie back to our last setup i can't remember if it was the last setup or the setup before that we did have this exact same thing happening we had bray wyatt we had the fiend bray wyatt just putting the mandible claw on Daniel Bryan right there. Daniel Bryan just pleading for life. We got the Blue Universal Championship right here on the table. And so I did want to tie back to that because they do have a match for the Universal Championship at the Royal Rumble this year. So I figured why not go ahead and put them back in the setup. You might as well. You know, uh, I, I couldn't think of anything else for them. So I figured throw it back to that last setup. Put them here again. And that's, that's what I did here. If we come forward a little bit, guys, you will see we have Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar. Now, Brock Lesnar up in Matt Riddle's face. I don't know if you guys know, but Matt Riddle has has always talked about Brock Lesnar. He talks about wanting to wrestle Brock Lesnar. He talks about retiring Brock Lesnar. He says he will be the man to go on to WrestleMania and retire Brock Lesnar. So uh, we all know that Brock Lesnar is the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble. How freaking awesome would it be if number two, you know, the or number two comes out right after Brock Lesnar and we have Matt Riddle. I don't think it'll be Matt Riddle, but how epic would it be to see Matt Riddle come out, eliminate Brock Lesnar, and then have a match at Mania. Whether it be for the championship or not, I still would really love to see it. I think it get a lot of pops uh, considering you know everybody loves Matt Riddle and what he's got going on with Brock Lesnar Speaking of which, we do have the Matt Riddle figure right here, guys. And if you guys want to purchase this Matt Riddle, I actually have an eBay auction live right now. You got the freaking removable Nike slides right there. How beautiful is that? If you guys want to get in on this figure, if you guys want to purchase this figure, link is, is in the description for you guys to go happy bid on that thing. Got the beautiful pink attire on there. Looks pretty freaking swell, I might add, made, made by Mac decals. But I had to add that custom Matt Riddle while we still have it. I, I wanted to put him in the setup. So coming to the right, guys, we do have some action going going on right here. We got Roman Reigns, and he is stomping out Trash Corbin. You guys can see Trash Corbin right here. Got two trash cans, one on the head of Trash, one at the feet of Trash. 
Trash Corbin getting stomped to death by the big dog. And I think this will happen. I think Roman Reigns, you know, he does have that match with Trash Corbin. I think he beats Trash Corbin. I think he eliminates him for the Royal Rumble. I'm sick of this feud. It's been played out. We've seen Roman win multiple times. Let's just get Roman that win, get this feud over with, and get it out of my face. I actually think that Roman Reigns may win the Royal Rumble. So that's just something right there. I could easily see that happening. And I don't know why, but I just feel like it's going to happen. Coming beyond that, dude, we do have... Dude, what, what the hell am I saying? Well, dude, coming behind that, we do have Dolph Ziggler kicking Jimmy Uso and then Jay Uso kicking Bobby Roode. So both partners kind of switched there. One tag team got the upper hand there and one other tag team got the upper hand there. The Usos obviously helping out Roman Reigns and then Ziggler and Bobby Roode fighting right there with the Usos. And so I have uh, Ziggler kicking Jimmy and then Jay kicking Bobby Roode. So I figured, you know, it split it down the middle. Don't have any favoritism going one way. I guess I kind of have some favoritism there with Ziggler winning uh, his battle. But uh, that's, that's a pretty good super kick right there. And we come back to the left side guys we, we, and we come back to the left side guys. We do have Keith Lee the brand new North American champion. He defeated Roderick Strong last night on NXT television and he is your new North American champion. Now I thought you know if he lost that match to Roddy Strong I could see him being in the Royal Rumble and now that he's won I could still see him being in the, Roy uh, in the Royal Rumble. You know CM Punk was on WWE backstage and he actually picked Keith Lee to win the Royal Rumble so I don't know if that was like a spoiler like he knows he's in the Royal Rumble or if He's just making an educated guess based off the Survivor Series. But there are 22 confirmed entrants for the Royal Rumble. And so there's eight spots left open. I'm sure we'll have some NXT talent. I'm sure we'll have some surprise entrances. So uh, Keith Lee, the North American champion, I could see him being in the Rumble. Coming to the middle, guys, we have the big time money maker right here. We have Vince McMahon shaking the hand of CM Punk. Now, CM Punk is obviously heavily rumored for a return at the Rumble just because, you know, he, he made that deal with WWE backstage. He's talking on there and you know it's pretty much inevitable for him getting back in the ring and most likely going to be end up, ending up back in the ring there but uh, this is the first step we have Vince McMahon shaking his hand and just in the setup you know for fantasy's sake I said you know what have Vince McMahon shake, uh, shake hands with CM Punk have him bury the hatchet there and have CM Punk return in this Royal Rumble and I would guess if he returned in the Royal Rumble he would have to win he'd be an excellent number 30 entrant the internet would explode the whole world would explode probably so I went ahead and plugged in CM Punk right here and that, that was a cool little visual of him shaking Vince McMahon's hand, so I wanted to plug it in. Coming to the middle, guys, we do have the brand new Raw Tag Team Champions, Seth freaking Rollins, Buddy freaking Murphy, and AO freaking P. I went ahead and added the freaking all their names since Seth freaking Rollins is what we call him. So you got the heel Seth right there with the leather jacket and the black shirt, the all black at the Raw Tag Titles. All of them chilling around, just kind of observing the madness that is going on in the backstage right now. Um, really odd decision for them to put the Raw Tag Titles on Rollins and Buddy Murphy. I feel like they should have put it on AOP. You know, they've been off television for a long, long time. They came back. I love that they're giving this push to Buddy Murphy. I'm sure this is leading to an inevitable split where they will probably have a match at WrestleMania, barring anything that happens in the Rumble with somebody else. But uh, that's what I would guess would happen is they'll probably ditch it. Just like Miz and Shane last year, you know, tag team champs split up, have a match at Mania, recycle, repeat the process. So that's probably what we'll get again. Coming to the edge, guys, we do have Buddy, Buddy Murphy. We have Buddy Lashley, psych. We have Bobby Trashley right here talking to Rusev, just talking shit to him. You know, this this terrible storyline continues on and on. And so uh, he's just talking some more shit to Rusev. I figured I'd plug it in. Just beyond that, guys, we do have Drew McIntyre. And you'll see he's just chilling over there by himself. And the reason why he's by the curtain, Brad, is he's saying, you know what, this is my year. I'm focused on the Royal Rumble. I'm not focused on anything else. I'm going to go win this hoe. And I think Drew McIntyre really has a strong shot to win. So I went ahead, stuck him over there in the corner. He's ready to go, ready to go win a Royal Rumble football game and he's ready to he's ready to go so he's over there in the corner we have Sheamus bro kicking the shit out of Chad Gable or Shorty G if you want to say that really hate the way that's posed back there but it's all I could do since I had all these figures set up first all this was first and then I had to reach back there and do that shitty pose right there but uh, you know what's not shitty uh, getting kicked in the face by by Sheamus so well, I guess that is shitty it's not shitty for Sheamus though is what I'm trying to say and so Shorty G got got his head kicked off of his shoulders and uh, you know they are going head to head at the Royal Rumble for some stupid ass reason but uh, but she Sheamus is bro kicking Shorty G so I went ahead and put it in there it's going to happen on Sunday so I, I figured you know what go ahead and put it in the setup we come to the middle guys you will see Ronda Rousey and Triple H shaking hands because or not shaking hands but he's putting his arm around her I think that we're going to get a return of Ronda Rousey in the women's Royal Rumble I actually think Asuka will lose in the match with Becky Lynch and then Ronda Rousey will enter at 
number 30 and win the Women's Royal Rumble and then go on to get our rematch of Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey. I could definitely see this happening. I think that's the best way to book it. I think that'd be excellent. I would. I will definitely be going for Ronda uh, if she enters the Royal Rumble and hopefully that is true. I think there's only like five or six women announced for the Women's Royal Rumble, which is absolutely ridiculous, but um, uh, Ronda Rousey definitely needs to be in that hole and she needs to win. I think I've heard rumors of her return, so hopefully that happens on Sunday. I'm going to be waiting on it, and there she is in the setup. Coming to the left, we do have Andrade, the U.S. champion, talking with Zelina Vega, just talking it up backstage. He has a United States Championship match with Humberto Carrero at the Royal Rumble, and so I wanted to put him here with his U.S. title looking pretty clean in the yellow gear right there, talking to Vega. They got a game plan right there for Humberto. Uh, we also have the Monster Among Men walking around the backstage. I didn't have him destroying anything, getting beat up, getting, you know, anything like that. He's just walking around, kind of like Drew, man. He's focused. He's trying to win a win a Royal Rumble. If he won the Royal Rumble, guys, I think I'd claw my fucking eyes out. I, I'd hate that. I would, I would probably cut the damn TV off and cancel the network if that happened. But anyways, moving on to the other side, guys. We do have Edge right here on the table, about to get medically cleared to return to in-ring action. He's obviously heavily rumored to be at the Royal Rumble. Who the hell knows? You know, who who, who knows what the hell's going on? Uh, another guy I was going to put over here was Jeff Hardy. It's just hitting me in the head. I really, really want to see Jeff Hardy. For some reason, it just slipped my brain right now to put him in the setup. So just uh, Jeff Hardy's sitting there too. Just, just go ahead and put him in there mentally right there. But Edge, heavily rumored to return at the Rumble, and I could see it. I'd mark out completely. Love Edge and Jeff Hardy. I want to see Jeff Hardy more to to be honest with you because you know he's been off TV for so long edge obviously has too but uh, I, I just think I'd rather see Jeff Hardy you know we've moved on from edge we also have the Royal Women's Champion Becky Lynch talking shit to him because they've had beef before so I figured put her right here you know whatever and uh, talk some shit to edge while he's getting medically cleared like just, yeah just, just make him feel terrible and then finally guys to finish off our setup we have KO we got my boy Kevin Owens talking to Samoa Joe you know they've been friends for the past, past few weeks you know leading up to the Royal Rumble they've been tag teaming and stuff like that and pretty much they're telling each other, you know, they're, they're baby faces right now, but at the same time, they're like, Brad, I don't give a shit who you are in that Royal Rumble. I'm coming for your skull because it's every man for himself, and you don't get to ride with me to Mania. So they're just kind of talking it up. Even though they respect each other, uh, they want to take each other's heads off when, when it comes Royal Rumble time. So that is it for our Royal Rumble 2020 setup. Guys, had a ton of fun doing this. I love doing the setups, especially when they have specific themes like Royal Rumble and different pay-per-views. You can kind of use your imagination, do some cool images. With the, show, uh, with the figures, that's the whole point of the setups is, you know, making these cool dynamic shots like this. Uh, <gasps> vomit. Almost vomited, for real. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for our setup. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below who the hell you think is going to win the Royal Rumble. Do you think that uh, it could be one of these men back here? Do you think it's somebody not featured here today? Do you think Brock Lesnar could possibly win it? Who do you think is going to win all their matches? Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think Edge or CM Punk will return this year or Ronda Rousey? Please let me know down in the comment section below, guys. If you want to bid on this Matt Riddle, again, the link is in the description. Beautiful-looking custom Matt Riddle to add to your collection. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.